Next up in our keyframe assistant menu is the convert data to keyframes option. Now this is very specific and it only works with MGJSON files. I actually had to do a bunch of searching online to find a usable MGJSON file. Uh, there's some converters out there, uh, but I couldn't get them to work with any data that I had. So perhaps this is something you were handed by a development team or something and you needed to incorporate the data into your animation. MGJSON file is what you would request from them. So what you would do is right click the file, you'd go to keyframe assistant and create keyframes from data. And now we have data for Perlin noise and signed 1K Perlin, and that's converted into keyframes, similar to how we converted audio to keyframes earlier. And now we can use this data to drive an animation. So we can take our scale and we can parent that to, or pick whip that to our signed 1K Perlin. Now, as we're playing it, the motion of the ellipse is driven by this data file here. Again, this is something that you can do through expressions without having to actually bake the keyframes, uh, but having these keyframes baked in is something that is super helpful when creating specific types of files and animations.